Good evening and welcome to News Evening. I'm joined here tonight by recently disgraced MP, Marcus Mandelson. Good evening, Marcus. Good evening. Now then, Marcus, how do you react to claims in the Daily Telegraph made recently that you and other MPs have been taking money on the expenses unlawfully? Well, I find the whole thing rather shocking. What, that the Telegraph had access to all this information? No, that the public was so angry when they discovered. What? Oh, surely they all must know I'm a lying, backstabbing thief. Excuse me? Yes, I've been laundering money, embezzling funds, even having an affair with six different women, long before I became a politician. Well, if that's the case, how on earth did you get into the political party? Oh, simple, really. I went to the leader of the party, told him of my past, and uh, he assured me I was one of the cleaner members. Surely not. Oh, yes, yes. You know, um, Philip Ganderhouse? Yes. Youngish bloke. Well, uh, he's the old leader of Enron. Just a bit of facial surgery, changed his voice, and put him into the party. Marvellous chap. Uh, Harry Tottlebank, do you know him? Oh, yes. Yes, the Lord. Uh, he was in the great train robbery of 66. And, uh, oh, you know Jack, Jack Smythe? Yes, Jack. Yes, uh, well, uh, he's the Ripper. What, Jack the Ripper? Yes, Jack the Ripper, you know, the guy who killed the whores back in London. Yes, yes, he was a uh, marvellous chap, is Jack. Knows a few women, though, um, not for long. So what you're telling me today is that all political leaders are either thieves or murderers? No, no, no. Let, let me make this absolutely clear to the general public. We are not all murderers and thieves. No. Harry Tenforth is a rapist as well. Well, thank you, Marcus, for that insightful insight into the political, political goings-on of our government. Join us next week when we'll be asking the question, Jade Goody, should she be made a saint? This is Tichiba. Tichiba's school can barely afford pencils or even a roof. This is Milano. Milano's family have to walk nearly five miles to fetch drinking water that may kill her. This is Martin. Martin is fat. Martin has to walk nearly 30 yards to his fridge and when he gets there, there sometimes isn't even butter. So please, just donate three pounds a month to the Martin Tristram Butter Fund and Africa Appeal. Oxy Filianto. Yes, yes. And a little dash of sulfuric 2589. And uh, just a sprinkling of hydroxypaleothade. <laughs> and now the most evil ingredient of all. Lavender. <laughs> And then what we do is we just pick that up and we just put that into the bath. There it goes. And you'll get a lovely purpley colour from the scents and everything. So join us next week on Dr. Malevolent's Household Tips when we'll be telling you how to make a supercomputer out of a jam and squirrel. Ah, and now that I have access to the American nuclear base, I can fire the missiles on themselves. Just need the large codes. Ah. Oh shit. Thanks to your help and donations, Tichiba now has half a pencil, Mileno has a cup of water, and Martin has eaten his own weight in butter. Thank you. Suicide bomber. Suicide bomber. Suicide bomber. Ah.